If you are following a ketogenic diet, you want to make sure that your body is producing ketones. In this video, we will show you how to do that using ketone urine strips and also a ketone blood meter. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky. I'm a college instructor of the Science of Nutrition. And I'm Dr. Keith. I'm a chiropractor in private practice for the past 26 years. You're watching Two Fit Docs, where we turn weight loss resistance into weight loss results. And we have done that over the past year following Dr. Keith as he has lost about 80 pounds over right. the past year and mostly doing a ketogenic diet. So we wanted to share with you what he does on a daily basis for the most part to test his blood and urine to make sure that his body is still producing ketones. So why don't we go back a year ago when you first started this. What was the very first thing that you did to test to, for ketones? Well, so the first thing obviously was starting a low-carb diet keeping my carbs pretty low, uh, and then testing on a daily basis to kind of find out when I actually went into ketosis. Uh, and I did that by using the, uh, the urine test strips. Um, we get these off Amazon. Uh, there's a number of different, uh, different companies that make them. With. I just particularly like this one for some reason. Um, they actually, they look like this. They're a little test strip. Um, basically, you in a little cup, mm -hmm. you run the strip through that, and you wait about 20 seconds for it, and then you're going to compare the color on the chart here, and that tells you where you're at in ketosis, uh, or not in ketosis. Uh, and these things are really pretty inexpensive. Ten dollars, I think we paid for this, and there's a hundred strips in there, so you're talking pennies. Uh, and that's important because uh, when we get into some of the other testing methods, the, some of the consumables are definitely mm -hmm. a little more pricey mm -hmm. on a per-use basis. So if you're not sure you're in ketosis uh, and you want to be testing this every day or a couple times a day, um, you know, the cheapest method is the best. Absolutely. So that's a great place to start. That's where you start. It was the very first thing that you bought. Yeah. Um, and you still utilize them today, uh, mm -hmm. but they do tell us that they, because of the ketones, it might not be as accurate as you go along. So the kind of the talk out there is that after being in ketosis for an extended length of time, they may not be as accurate anymore because your body might be becoming more efficient at using the ketones, not excreting so many. Okay. So, so they're not going to show up in your urine, so, possibly, but they will right. show up in your blood. Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, as, as he um, matured in his ketogenic diet, he switched to uh, testing his blood. So why don't you tell him what you did with that? Okay, so to, to check your blood, um, obviously you've got to get a little drop of blood. What we use is the Precision Extra uh, blood meter. This actually reads both ketones and glucose level, blood glucose mm -hmm. level. It, uses, it utilizes one strip for ketones and a different strip for glucose. Uh, again, we found this on Amazon. Uh, it comes in a nice little case carry all your little lancets in there uh, and the little lancets are the little things that go into this thing um, which just goes here you push the button you get a little drop of blood put the strip into the meter touch it to the blood and in a couple seconds you get them reading for it so that is going to test the ketones in your in your blood and those are the ketones that your body is utilizing for energy so you want to so that gives you a nice accurate reading so when when, what kind of numbers do you want to see on there? So, they say that 0.5 and above is in ketosis. Um, I've been at 0.4 a number of times too. So, I, you know, 0.5 is probably kind of an arbitrary thing that they just decided to pick that mm -hmm. because obviously 0.4 I'm making ketones as well. Right. Um, but it's just like that tiny little bit and under their threshold. Um, and it can go up to, you know, I've, I've heard of, people in nutritional ketosis being able to get as high as four. Mm -hmm. um, myself, I would typically be between 0.8 and 1.2. That was just kind of my sweet spot. And I think one time in nine months, uh, I was over two. And that was just that was just one time. I just seem to be, my level seems to be there. Um, some other people, you know, I think it's a very individual thing that happens. It's just what your body does. Some people can be always, almost always in the twos. Um, so you don't don't get hung up on that because that number doesn't mean it being in ketosis is the main thing whether you're at 0.5 you know and just in ketosis or whether you're 2.5 um, there's no real uh, 
significance to being deeper in and your body is still and, producing ketones if right. you are getting that type of a right. rating. And it's not, you know, it's not like you're better than me kind right. of a thing. Right. So, so let's talk a little bit about um, about the cost of, of running your your blood on with a ketone meter and and how you also use it as a to test your glucose. Right. So this little meter and the little kit that we got with it, I think is right now about 130 or something like that on uh, on Amazon. It, they do give you a little bit of like starter kit with supplies. Um, but some of the consumables um, are a little bit pricey. Now the little lancets that you put in there, you, you get like 100 of them for $6. Okay. So, you know, they'll last a while. Um, the glucose strips, which are these, these are about 50 cents a piece, so they're not too bad either. Um, the ketone strips, on the other hand, these can run three, you know, between three and four dollars sometimes. So you don't want to be wasting a lot of these. Mm -hmm. um, I'll typically use, you know, I'll, I'll pick one time a day. Typically for me, later in the afternoon uh, is a good time for me to check my ketones. I'm almost always in ketosis at that point of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then that way I don't feel like I'm wasting these. Mm -hmm. But I will, throughout the day, I'll check my glucose at different mm -hmm. times. Um, especially if I'm, if I have a question about, you know, maybe what I ate for lunch or something, I'll wait an hour, or an hour and a half after lunch, check my blood glucose and see, did my lunch affect that a whole lot? Mm -hmm. And that can, that can kind of give me some feedback as to, to what I need to be doing. Uh, if that was a good lunch to have, um, yeah. you know, maybe I need to change it. Yeah. So, so that, that's really it. Um, utilize the testing, um, elements to, to, uh, make sure that you're staying on track with your ketogenic diet. Uh, and also, you can kind of use it as a, a form of motiv motivation. Uh, it, it's fun to see that you are in ketosis, so you can use it kind of in, in that frame as well. Um, we do have uh, these items uh, on our Amazon affiliate shop. If you are interested, we'll leave a, a link under under this video. Um, in full disclosure, I will I will say that uh, while we do uh, obviously use these products. Um, we do get a little bit of a uh, commission when when you purchase those <laughs> those items. So uh, thank you for supporting our efforts here to uh, bring you uh, good educational videos and uh, and products that will help you to reach your goals. And is there anything else we want to add? I think that's it. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. We will be back next week with a brand new video. And good luck.